Assalamu alaikum guys. Hope everybody will be fine. Today in this important video lecture, I will guide you for bar bending schedule basics. These informations can help you if you are working on construction site. Because most of the people I saw them, they are working on construction site, but they don't know about basics of bar bending schedule. So therefore watch this video till the end to know about basics of bar bending schedule. Let's get started guys. In basics of bar bending schedule, I will guide you for diameter of reinforcement, how to find a weight of steel for different diameters, hooks details, overlapping, crank bar details, concrete cover for beam column, etc. Spacing of reinforcement and number numbers of bars and the last one is numbers of stirrups. So let's start guys. The first one is diameter of reinforcement. As you know guys, we have different diameters for steel reinforcement in the market. That is uh, starting from 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm, 14 mm, 16 mm, 20 mm. Okay, like this to 36 mm we have. Okay, so how you can find the weight of steel for different diameters. So for that we have the formula to find out weight of steel bar for 1 kg. Okay, per meter kg per meter okay so to find the weight of steel in kg per meter so you can use the standard formula which is d square divided by 162 where d is in mm dia is in millimeter okay the d should be in millimeter Suppose I am finding out the weight of steel for 12 mm, which is normally using for building construction. So right here for D square, you can write 12 multiply 12 to find weight of steel in kg per meter divided by 162. So you will get the value 0 0.88 kg. So this is weight of steel kg per meter. Okay, suppose you have 5 meter steel rod. So how you can find? So for 12, 12 mm, we have the unit weight 0 0.88 kg per meter. So for 5 meter multiply 0 0.88 kg. So you will find the total weight for 5 meter steel rod. Suppose you have the 8 mm. So the same formula you can use to find the weight of steel rod. Okay. As you know from the factory, we have the standard length of steel rod, which is 12 meter. Standard length of steel rod is 12 length of steel from factory, which is 12 meter or 40 feet. Okay, now is the next one is hooks details. As you can see guys here, we have hooks same like this. Okay, or here you can see guys, this is a stirrup. So we are providing the hooks like this. Okay, so why we are providing the hooks? So the steel can't be slipped from the concrete so therefore it make a good bond between steel and concrete what hooks so therefore the hooks is important for resistance okay so uh, especially in earthquake area so how you will find the length of hook for that you can use the formula which is 9d where d is this d is die of steel rod right so 9d 
or it should not be less than 3 inches this hook ok so one hook 3 inch and other hook 3 inches so it become 6 inches like this you can find the hooks and here especially you can also say so this is also you can say in column this is like uh, band length or this one you can say or legs length okay so it should not be less than 12 inches okay or you can say it should not be less than 24 d got it so this is very important uh, especially for uh, column right so it should not be less than 12 inches next one is guys overlapping so why overlapping we need to uh, overlap one steel rod with another one as you know from factory we have the standard length 12 meter so this is 12 meter length of steel rod from factory for insufficient length of steel rod we need to extend the length of steel rod so in that case we overlap one steel rod with another suppose as you know the standard length of steel rod is from factory 12 meter if you require 16 meter length in a slab or beam on, or anywhere on construction site so there we need to overlap one steel rod with another so that is called overlapping okay to attach one steel rod with another to get the sufficient length of steel rod that is called overlapping like this guys you can see this is one steel rod and this is 12 meter suppose and I need 16 meter so here I will overlap to the another steel rod here like this so this is called overlapping this is called o overlapping OL so this lapping should not be less than 50 d where d is die of steel rod if that is 12 mm 16 or 20 or any diameter so the d should be die of steel rod in millimeter got it so this is overlapping it should not be less than 50 d so as i told you in many videos that the lapping uh, where is the best place to provide lapping in beam column and slab if you didn't watch those videos so the link is in the description of uh, this videos this video okay so guys this is overlapping now what is crank bar details as you know guys crank bar we provide in a slab in a beam to resist negative bending moment at the end of the support okay so here guys you can see this is crank bar okay guys so here guys the crank bar this length we can get from L by 4 distance suppose this is one column and this is other column so L is this one span between two columns so this is L to get this length crank bar length or extra rod should be provided by L by 4 L by 4 means so this is 1 2 and 3 4 so 4 parts 1 2 3 4 suppose the length of the span is 16 feet so what should be the length of crank so the crank length should be L by 4 where L is 16 feet divided by 4 so you will get 4 feet so this length should be 4 feet it should not be less than 4 feet so this is crank bar details and the angle should be between 45 to the angle should be between 45 to 60 degree for crank bar to resist negative bending moment this is very important if you don't want to provide crank bar so in the place of crank bar you are able to provide extra rods so the extra rods formula is same for a slab or for beam okay so this is crank bar details next let, let's talk about concrete cover what is concrete cover guys you can see here this is suppose column or beam suppose this is column okay so here this is 
these are hooks so here guys now you can see guys this is stirrup or ties so this is tie okay so here guys on four sides we are providing the concrete cover so this is important for beam column slab so what should be the dimension for concrete cover so concrete cover should not be less than 25 to 40 mm or from 1 to 1.5 inches for beam column slab okay so this is very important so this is about concrete cover details now spacing of reinforcement suppose i am finding out the uh, the spacing so this what is the spacing suppose this is a slab suppose this is 16 feet and this is <coughs> 25 feet this is slab so spacing or distance between two steel rods from one center to the other center this is called spacing c slash c spacing so spacing is depend on the different structures and the slab uh, according to their load okay the structure load so therefore c slash c means spacing of two rods but normally for residential building the spacing should not be more than 6 by 6 inches for main bars and distribution bars if that is g plus two story or three story but it should not be more than 6 by 6 inches so this is about spacing of reinforcement so with the help of spacing c slash c we can find the numbers of steel rod main bars or distribution bars in a slab how suppose i need to find this steel rods on this side suppose this is 25 feet so how we can find the numbers of steel rods so the formula to find numbers of steel rods so l length should be divided by spacing c slash c then plus 1 is equal you will find the total numbers so total numbers where l is 25 feet okay and divide by suppose the spacing is 6 inches or you can say 0.5 feet so 25 feet divided by 0.5 feet plus 1 so we required 51 steel rods on this side okay to find on this way or uh, you can say the main bars so 16 divided by spacing plus 1 so this is the formula to find total numbers of steel rods the next one is guys number of stirrups so same formula you can use for numbers of stirrups suppose i have a column i need to find the numbers of stirrups suppose the height of the column is 12 feet so how to find numbers of stirrups same height divided by i will write here height divided by spacing c slash c plus 1 so you will find numbers of stirrups suppose here the spacing is 6 inches or 9 inches okay so you will write here h h is 12 divided by 0.5 if that is 6 inches stirrup spacing plus 1 so we required here 25 numbers stirrups okay guys so these are some important basics of bar bending schedule which i have discussed in front of you so hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye